All right, today we're going to break down my new rifle bag. This is a Savior Specialist double rifle bag, and this is the 36-inch variant. The color is olive drab green, which I thought was really nice, and this bag is great. I just recently got another rifle that I'm going to be bringing to the range. Instead of having multiple rifle bags or multiple cases, I wanted to have one bag that I could consolidate both rifles and and most of my gear for the range in one bag. I usually do have a supplementary bag that has targets and a few other items, but I wanted one bag to kind of hold the bulk of what I'm going to be bringing to the range. This bag was $89, which is a, a pretty good deal for the quality of bag that you get. So I'm just going to break down this bag, how I, how I load it out, and what it looks like in the different compartments. This is kind of a top-down side view of the bag. You have a, a, a grip handle there if you wanted to carry it in your hand. On the back you have, you know, shoulder straps so you can wear this like a backpack. You have handles up here, a handle down here. They, they did a really good job of, of uh, giving you a lot of options to carry this. There's also a strap, a shoulder strap if you want, if you want to attach this and use that. So a lot of good options. All of the straps and um, handles are all really good quality. They're cushioned, uh, the stitching is really nice. I was surprised at the price point that you get this level of quality. Basically the way that it's laid out is you have a front compartment, you have an additional accessory compartment, and then you have the main compartment here which holds your two rifles. And we'll get into that now. So the front compartment, I just have some gloves, a couple boxes of ammo, and then here you have these really large pouches which you can use however, however you like really. The way that I use them is in this one, I, I have my suppressor. In here, I'm holding an additional pistol. This is 1911. And then in here, I have my eye protection and ear protection in here. Really quick access, really nice big pouches that are secure. So that's the front pouch. This next compartment here, this is a little bit larger of a compartment. What we have is we have a mesh inside here with, with two large compartments with zippers. So in here I have uh, the manuals for my reticle, some Allen keys to adjust my, my reticle, my optic. Uh, I have a, a stapler for the range, staple up targets, staples, and then this is just my, um, this is just my tack stamp stuff for my suppressor, just to keep it on me. In here I have just a, a rag, small towel, and this is like a, a medical kit. This is like a gauge medical kit, a quick clot, safety. And all the zippers, they, they feel really good quality. They don't feel cheap at all. Here we have these, we have these pouches. They're pretty tight, but they are large. So I keep, I keep my, most of my magazines in here. 10 round magazine there, a couple 30 round magazines, a few more 30 round magazines there. And then in here I have three or four pistol magazines. They do have these latches, which are nice. You can attach anything there if you want, the carabiner. Now we're gonna get into the main compartment, which is the, the rifle compartment. It is, it's this large section here. This just opens up like that. And then here you have your two sections for your rifles. This is a 16 inch AR-15 with a 16 inch upper and barrel, and it fits just fine. I, I think an 18 inch would even fit, but this, this fits pretty snug. I do have the stock kind of bumped up uh, all the way, but I do have probably another inch on either side if I needed to spare. They have these nice Velcro straps. You can strap it down. There's also an additional smaller strap there. If you wanted to actually put your barrel through there to secure this even more, you can. For me, this is just fine. It's a little bit quicker. From a height standpoint, pistol grip to the top of the optic, this is a pretty good scope. It's the Primary Arms GLX 2.5 to 10, and you can still, I still have another two and a half inches on the top. So plenty of space. And then you have this, this divider piece, which is nice and pretty thick cushion and then here you have the the other side this is just my Daniel Defense Mark 18 and this stock is extended all the way actually and and the, I mean obviously it fits just fine it's a smaller barrel if anybody out there is wondering if the 36 inch option of this bag is going to be big enough for your ARs it most likely will be unless you have a 20 inch upper you know an AR-10 you know some of the bigger systems maybe then you'd want to get the larger options for this I think they make a 36 inch a 40 and a 42 
So if you are going to be putting hunting rifles or shotguns, you know, things with 20 to to 24 inch barrels, then you'll probably want to look at the longer options for this for this bag. But for AR-15 systems, pretty much any, this 36 inch option is going to be just fine. Another thing I do like is on these zippers, you do have these metal rings here on the zippers. See these? So they, they come together and you can put a lock on that which is nice, another added security benefit. I do like that. There's two zippers in each compartment and they can connect like that and you can lock all these up with locks, which I think is great. So another nice touch was the cardboard box that the bag comes in. On the inside, you have these targets, which is really cool. Got some silhouettes and then some precision bullseyes, uh, but I just thought that was a, a nice touch and definitely gonna use these. So if anybody's looking for a rifle bag, a double rifle bag for your ARs or your hunting rifles, I would recommend this. This is the, the Savior Specialist double rifle bag. This is the 36 inch version in olive drab green.